In this video we are going to create these two map animations so let's get into it. To create our first animation, go to Canva and create a new design. Here you type YouTube video, choose this one. Here you will see elements, you can go to elements and here you type word map. Go to photos and choose any photo you like. I'm gonna choose this photo and if you don't know the names of these countries, you can always go to Google, type here word map and you will see the names or alternatively you can download a picture from Google map and insert this picture there in Canva. In this way you can work on your own stuff. Here I want to create an animation from this place to this place. By staying on the same page, type GPS, go to graphics, choose any graphic you like. In my case, I'm gonna choose this one, make it smaller, place it anywhere you like. This is your starting point or the ending point. Duplicate, bring it here somewhere. Now go to text, add text. Instead of adding any text, just add some dashes and keep in mind that these dashes should cover the distance from A to B. Go to the color and choose the color you like. I'm gonna choose this red one or the white one, it is more visible. Now select the line, go to effects and choose curve. Rotate, as you see the distance is not covered so you can add more lines. Now select the line, go to animation choose wipe. You can choose any animation you like and make sure you are selecting this option on center. Here you can increase and decrease the duration and speed. And if you want this animation from left to right instead of right to left then you can choose this arrow and after that select all your desired settings. Now by selecting this line go to position layers to bring it down. It should be behind these GPS icons. Now select the GPS icon, go to animation, here you can choose any animation you like, I choose pop and this one pop as well and make sure it's on center for both of the GPS icons. Now select the second one and right click on it, go to show element timing, here play your video. At this point you see that the line is intersecting this icon so squeeze it and bring it here. Now if you play, yeah, perfect. If you want to animate the background as well, let's say this map, then select all of them. Now you can group them. After grouping all these, you can zoom in and out like so, or you can keyframe this video in CapCut and other software you're using. I'm gonna export and show you how to keyframe this part. Export this video download mp4 and high quality you can select this is just a demo so i'm not selecting download open CapCut or any editing software you're using go to create a new project here import this video go to timeline here our animation starts so by clicking on this one go to keyframe and if you want to zoom in like so just drag this one here and at this place maybe you want here like that you see these diamonds are added, it means the keyframes have been added and you can rescale this video here and at this point you can make it like so and now make it full screen. This can be adjusted according to your own choice. If I go there and play from the start, it will look like that. It's a rough sketch but you can keyframe, it was just to showcase that this map can be animated. So. Here is our animation. Cool. Now let's move to the second animation we are gonna create. To create this stunning beautiful animation just go to create a new design and here you search YouTube video again. Hit OK. You got a blank canvas. Now go to elements and here you type word map with countries. Hit OK. Go to photos again and you will see a lot of different photos. You can choose anyone you like. In my case, I'm gonna choose this one. Drag it to the entire canvas. Now right click on this one and duplicate. After duplicating, make sure that the country you are highlighting is zoomed in. 
So by staying on the second page, just zoom the country. In my case, I'm going to zoom for Pakistan. Here, the country Pakistan is zoomed because the picture is zoomed way more. So that is kind of blurry, but you can try. Go to the search option and search Pakistan. Go to graphics and you will find this kind of graphics. Here, there is one thing very much important because some countries have territorial conflict, so you might not be able to find similar shapes or same shapes on word map. So make sure that the background you are choosing matches with exact same shape in Canva app. Enlarge this picture and match. Once you're done, go to this transition and choose match and move and duration could be maximum. If you think it's zoomed way more bigger, then you can select both of the layers and make them smaller like so. Now you can zoom the timeline and see. Now right click on the second page and go to duplicate page. Click back on the first page and click on the graphic. Go to transparency and make it zero. Now you see that there is nothing visible there, but don't worry, we're gonna see the magic in the end. Now, you need to add another transition between second and third page. Go to transition, select move and match and make the duration maximum. Once again, right click on the third page and go to duplicate page. On the fourth page, go to select this graphics and enlarge this country. After enlarging, just select the graphic, go to this color picker, choose the color picker and change same color as shown in the map. Now click outside, go to transparency and make it zero or you can make it up to 20%. Now right click on the fourth page and go to duplicate, click on this graphics and move a little bit maybe here. Go to the fourth page and go to text, add a new box and write the name of the country. In my case it's Pakistan so bring it here. Go to color and match the color with the pencil. Now go to transparency and bring it to zero. If the color is not matched, you can just go and choose pencil again, same as graphic and enlarge this text and bring it anywhere you like. You're done here. Now go to the transition between all these pages as we did in the past for these two pages. Go and add the same transition. Match and move, duration maximum. Once again, match and move, duration maximum. Now, what you need to do, just go to the third page and click on the page. Now, go to edit and choose blur. Go to whole image and choose the intensity up to 15%. Once everything is done, go to the first page and go to this uh, animation section and choose tonic animation and make the intensity zero. Once you select, you will see the white part here. Don't worry. Select the picture on canvas and enlarge this one like that. If you play from this part, now you see there is no white part. And now the animation looks like this. If you like the video, then write the feedback. And now you are ready to share. Go to download MP4, select the maximum resolution, download. By the way, I use some of the Canva Pro features. And if you are interested in getting Canva Pro subscription for the lifetime, then hit me up. I can help you get one. Take care and bye.